Welcome all my tacticians to yet another episode of the Tacticians Monday Matches! And today, we got a special battle between me and Mario! Oh my goodness, this battle was a very long one and it's the only battle I managed to actually save because I was an idiot and forgot to actually save any of the other battles. There were some interesting battles, but because I was stupid, I only rec I only recorded this one. So for those of you who had interesting or cool battles with me, I apologize. But in any case, let's get into the battle. So, what do I have to deal with in this battle? Well, you're about to find out. Because, well, it's about it's the battle's about to begin. So first of all, I'm going to be leading off with Tepu Lele and Sylvester, my superior. And Mario is going to be sending out his shiny Eevee and his Smurgle. How I hate that Pokemon so. For those of you who don't know, I have this eternal hatred for the Pokemon Smurgle. It's nothing got to do with the Pokemon. It's just what it can do, alright? I have nothing against it. It's just what it does. So, I'm going to be going off with the glare, I'm going to start off with actually starting off with the skill swap, contrary swapping, and then I'm going to glare the Smurgle because I didn't want to deal with it, but, you know, it's Smurgle, and it, Smurgle likes to run Spore. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the epic, the awesome, annoying hat of censorship. That's right, people. I would love to show you the extreme evolution taking place right now, but because Nintendo decided to upload a video featuring it, YouTube Content ID will claim that I am stealing it and will block this video if I show it. So the only way I can actually fight this without actually having to do a lot of editing is to basically show you the annoying hat of censorship covering up the extreme evil boost and as it ends right now, you can now see that Eevee is going to get a skyrocketing stat. Look at all them stats going up, 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 all of them going high. And Smurgle is going to be moody because, you know, it's moody because it's a Smurgle. And who doesn't love Smurgle? So, what are we going to, what's it going to do? What is the Eevee going to go into? Well, you're about to find out because it's going to go into a baton path. And it's gonna be going into wait for it wait for it that's right it's gonna be going into Shinkling although that's not I don't believe that is his actual name actually goes by UB Gluttony or Guzzlord for those of you who are interested no I did not just look that up but in any case the smuggler is gonna be paralyzed and Lily is gonna be asleep now the moody the moody smuggler out there is gonna be losing some more stats getting more stats that's what moody does you lose you know, like one stat in something, but you gain two stats in another stat. Uh, it's a very confusing ability. It's a cr it's completely random. In that case, I'm gonna send in Drake here, trying to lower the attack stat. Oh, the Guzzlord. Lele is gonna be still snoozing because you know it's Le Lele, and she's you know you, you need to take a nap. And you know what, Drake, you know he's a very tired snake, so he's gonna be going to sleep too because of the spore. As for the Guzzlord, as for Mario's Guzzlord, it's gonna be you know going to be paralyzed, so it's not going to be doing anything this turn. So, there goes the Smurgle, losing more stats, gaining more stats because of the Moody. It's hard to keep track of a Smurgle's stats, especially when it's Moody, because, you know, it's Moody Smurgle. It's hard to keep track of it. Now, Exernius is going to come onto the field now. Smurgle is going to go for the Spiky Shield. And I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to go for the Skill Swap. I was thinking about going for the Skill Swap, and swapping you know the beast boost with the guzzlord and the contrary but then i thought you know it's not really gonna help that won't really help me out in fact actually it'll hurt me if i send out drake again but in any case lele is gonna you know skill swap it into my exernius i gave my exernius physical attacks so the contrary plus the close combat will actually help me out i pulled this strategy before but the Guzzlord is going to go for an Earthquake, deal some damage to all sides except for the Smurgle because it's protected by the Spiky Shield. And now I'm thinking, alright, time to send in Drake again. I'm trying my best to lower this thing's attack stat as much as possible. Drake is still asleep. Xerneas is going to go for the close combat now. I really should have targeted down that Smurgle, but I really wanted to deal some damage to the Guzzlord. I wanted to see how much damage I could do to the Guzzlord with a close combat and for my trouble. Smurgle is going to go for the Spore. 
So now, two of my Pokemon again are asleep, and Guzzlord is gonna go for the heavy slam into Xerneas. Ow. You know, if I didn't get those con that uh, contrary uh, close combat boost, I probably would have fainted right then and there. But in any case, I don't get the contra I don't lose my Xerneas. Xerneas is still on the field, still kicking butt and ticking names. Drake is still asleep, so I swap out Drake again and go into Yara, thinking, all right, I need to do something here. I need to do something. So Smurgle is paralyzed, Xerneas is asleep, and Guzzlord is paralyzed. So everyone on the field does nothing except for Yara, who's just jumping into the field and just wants to be there. Smurgle is going to lose some, or going to gain some special attack and going to lose my summon evasion. So all in all, more shenanigans following, and there it is, the dreaded follow me from the Smurgle. Why does Smurgle have to learn or get to learn every single ability known to Pokemon kind? But in any case, that's just me being salty. I'm gonna set up the safeguard, trying to protect myself from further spores. Guzzlord is a s or, or is paralyzed. So all things considered, everyone is doing crazy shenanigans. So Smurgle's gonna be increasing his evasion and or gonna be losing evasion. And it's gonna go for another follow me. I was really, really, really hoping that it would not, or that it would get paralyzed, because I go for the charm. I'm trying to weaken the Guzzlord. And unfortunately, I go and hit, hit the, you know, I hit the Smurgle with the charm instead. And I go for a Horn Leech into the Smurgle. So, that wasn't exactly the worst thing I could have done, but unfortunately, I go for the. And actually don't get the damage I wanted. Xerneas goes and faints because of that. That charm was originally meant for either the Guzzlord or the Xerneas. I think I originally meant, for, meant it for Xerneas, but I think I changed it to Guzzlord. But in any case, the follow me forces everything to target the, the user of follow me. So even if I use it on, even if I use my ability on an ally or move it on an ally, it's going to target the Smurgle because it gives him follow me. So Trick is going to come in. He's gonna do some more intimidation, gonna lower that attack stat again. And I'm thinking, all right, what can I do here? So, Smurgle's gonna follow me. I'm gonna go for a charm. Once again, I was aiming for the Guzzlord. I did not want the Smurgle. I wanted the Guzzlord, but Drake is gonna follow asleep. So this isn't gonna do anything and the Guzzlord is paralyzed. So whole lot of nothing going on. A whole lot of nothing going around, people. A whole lot of nothing going around. So, Smurgle's gonna be losing some some defensive stats and gaining some defensive stats, and it's gonna go for another follow me. I I hate this Smurgle so much. I can't weaken its attacks at any further. Drake is still asleep, and Guzzlord goes for a crunch into Yara. I really needed that charm to hit the Guzzlord to stand a chance to keep Yara in the fight. But I lose my safeguard now. It's down to Drake. He is still sitting out there asleep, still snoozing on the job. Drake, you gotta do something, man. Get up and wake up. So now on to Penelope, my low punny. So I'm thinking, all right, what can my low punny do? So, first of all, I'm gonna Mega Evolve my Low Punny because you know that's what she's on the field to do. She's gonna Mega Evolve, and now she's gonna, now that she's Mega Evolved, she's gonna kick butt and kick names. Smurgle is now paralyzed. I go for the Sky Uppercut. I have had enough of the Guzzlord. It's not enough to finish the job. Drake is up, and what's the first thing gonna do? He's gonna coil. So, Drake the sm Drake the Snake is gonna s is gonna coil around. Gonna do some, gonna increase his defenses, attacks, and accuracy, and the Guzzlord Lord is gonna go and be paralyzed. So I lose my safeguard. I'm thinking, all right, that's it. I, it's now or never. I've got to go on the attack. I have to get rid of the Smurgle now. This turn, Smurgle was trying to go for the follow me or the spiky shield. It's paralyzed. It can't survive. I go for the Sky Upper Cup into the into the Guzz Lord. Guzz Lord goes down. And Drake is going to go for the gunk shot into the Smurgle. So once and for all, the Smurgle is finally taken down. My nightmare has ended, only to be replaced by a Snorlax. So that's going to be fun. Oh my lord, my poor team. 
So I'm thinking, all right, what can we do here? So Penelope is going to go for the return into the Mimikyu. So Mimikyu is now going to lose its disguise. So there goes the Mimikyu's disguise. And here comes my Z-move. Mario got a chance to show off his Z-move. Now it's my turn. The, the tables are starting to turn. So Drake is now pumped up. He's ready to go. He unleashes his full force Z power. Go for the acid downpour. So here comes the toxic fumes of the dirt of Drake the Snake. Oh, that's a fun rhyme, but there was one. In any case, it's more than enough to bring down the Mimikyu, but it has the focus sash. I'm thinking, what? Who puts focus sash on Mimikyu? Well, Mario does. That's who put the voice sash on the Mimikyu. And it goes for the trick room. I'm like, oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. So, oh, now we're in trouble. Snorlax goes for the belly drum. Down goes the belly drum. He, does, he doesn't activate his berry. He doesn't lose 50%, total 50% of his health. But he loses enough of his health now to be within damage range. I go for the crunch into the Mimikyu. So Drake is going to take down Mimikyu. And now Penelope is going to go for the sky uppercut into the Snorlax's chin. And bam! Down goes Snorlax. Oh my lord. This battle just took a complete 180. So now Eevee's on the field. And now out comes the Metagross. So I'm thinking, all right. The biggest threat here is the Metagross, and I have four Pokemon. This battle can easily turn into my favor. Penelope is going to get a Zen Headbutt to the face. She go she drops like a sack of rocks, so that's going to be the end of my Mega Low Punny. Eevee's going to go for the Wish, because, you know, it's Eevee and it wants to go for a Wish. It wants to make a Wish. And Drake, well, he has Crunch, so he can hit the Metagross for a super effective attack. Unfortunately, despite the attack increase from the coil, it's not enough to break through Metagross' defenses and he still hangs on. So I'm thinking, alright, what can I do here? Well, first of all, I'm going to take another Zen Headbutt to the face into Drake. Drake, even with the defense increase from the coil, not enough to survive the Metagross. And Eevee's going to go for a Covet. Why you teach Eevee Covet? I don't know. Actually, I, does that work with, uh, you know, with Z Crystals? I don't think it does. In any case, I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm into the Metagross because, you know, I'm trying to deal with this Metagross as much as possible. Now out comes Lele. So, Metagross has revealed that it's got Zen Head, but obviously. But I'm thinking, what else does it got? Is it Choice Bandit? Is it Choice Scarf? Is it... What is it? So, I go for the Protect here. Metagross goes for the Zen Head, but again, into the, into Sylvester, my superior. I'm trying to think, okay, it's got to be Choice Scarf. That's got to be it. Unfortunately, I made a bit of a misplay here. There was nothing to be done about it, but, you know, Lele, she activates the, you know, the second terrain. Metagross chows down on the Tsiapa Berry. The Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal. Now I'm thinking, all right. Now I'm faster. Now I have to deal with this Metagross as soon as possible. I do as much damage as I can. I lock myself into a, you know, a Choice Scarf Psy Shock. It's not enough to deal with Metagross. I've met the plus two Leaf Storm. Still not enough to deal with Metagross. Out comes the last resort from Eevee. It's barely not enough to deal with Lele. Out comes the Zen Headbutt boosted damage from the Psychic Terrain. Sylvester barely holds on with the sliver of health, chows down on the Citrus Berry, and now out comes the Metagross's Protect. This battle is slowly approaching its end, and both of us are fighting tooth and nail for every bit of damage we can do. Sylvester goes for a Giga Drain into the Eevee. Thank you for the energy. Sylvester will take it and restore all the way to, you know, 80% of his health. Eevee goes down. That is the end of the Eevee. And now it's the final turn. Metagross put up a good fight. It goes for the double protect. Failed. Lele goes for the Psy Shock into the Metagross. It's more than enough to finish the job. GG Mario. Oh my lord. He put up a fight to the bitter end and i hope you all enjoyed this battle i will see you tacticians next time bye bye when you've reached
reach the point where you can't go on Just come to me, you'll be safe from harm If you trust in me, then I'll trust in you There's nothing more that I need to do If you put your hands in front of mine We'll be shining through one at a time Just understand you